I hope we're all doing really, really well. Today I'm going to be talking about how I stay inspired and positive 100% of the time. Seriously, you guys, 100% of the time. But before we get into it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video of mine again. This channel talks all about self-development and weight loss and I would love it if you guys join me. I am on four hours of sleep and I woke up at 4 a.m. Weird flex, but okay. If I'm not making any sense, don't make dollars, don't make sense. It's because I haven't slept. Okay, so the first thing that I'll tell you will be very, very obvious and I'm sure that you've heard this from Gary Vee and all the other self-development and motivational YouTubers. But the second thing, the second thing that I'm going to be telling you about, I have never heard anyone really say this out loud. And while it may be something obvious, I feel like it is a little bit of a hack. So the first tip, obviously, surround yourself with positive people and limit your time with negative people. Now, one of my favorite quotes is, you are the five people that you surround yourself with. And you hear this quote all of the freaking time. But once you actually have those five people in your life that are positive, you will never understand how truly impactful that quote and how real that quote is. Because seriously, once I was lucky enough to have five people that not only were not negative and were not complaining all the time, but they wanted to see me grow and they would check up on me. They would, you know, be encouraging. They'd give me advice. They'd see opportunities and then, you know, push me into that direction. Once I had those people in my life, once I had the people that were on the same journey as me and the one of the same things as me, Man, I became way more productive and way more positive and inspired than I have been in a very long time. Now, I have went through periods where I was like, I don't need him, I don't need her, fuck it, I'll do it myself. And as soon as I got those five people in my life, guys, I am telling you, the things that would have taken me like a month to do has taken me like a day. Also, five might be a very big number and it kind of is. You can have five positive people that don't push you in the right direction, that aren't on your specific journey, but if they're just if they're not complaining, if they're positive, if you know they see life as glass half full and glass half empty, that will work. Now, you can have five of those people, right? But it only took two people, two of those people that were on the right journey, on the same life path as me basically, and more importantly, were ambitious and pushed for themselves, wanted something great for themselves and for me. When I have those two people in my life, in comparison from when I didn't to when I did, the inspiration and the positivity is honestly on freaking steroids. Now, how do you get those people in your life? Well, the first thing that I always do is obviously be open to those kind of people. You know, you can have a lot of friends, a lot of best friends, that is totally fine. But there's a certain vibe that people come off as where it kind of shows to other people that, you know, vacancies are full, I am no longer looking, there are no more job applications left. But if you are constantly open, no matter if you have zero friends or 50 friends, you will be able to attract people in your life that are meant to be in your life that are just as inspiring, just as ambitious, just as hardworking as you are. So the number one tip is definitely to be open. Open to new opportunities. Open to when people start conversations with you on the bus. Open to, you know, that class that you've been thinking of going to for a really long time, but you haven't. Being in that class and being open then, you know, having open body language, looking around, smiling, starting conversations. One of my favorite YouTubers, Shaolin Lester, always does polls. And she says that every time she asks her subscribers, they say they are always constantly on the lookout for people to befriend, like people to talk to. Out of, I don't know how many, insert how many subscribers here, all of them basically say that they want friends or are on the lookout for friends. Surely that must mean statistically that most people are always on the lookout for new friends, especially nowadays if you're out of high school and university, it is a lot harder to find those friendships in the conventional setting unless you have, you know, a nine to five job and you see those people every single day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. People are always open to be friends with you. It's just 
Many people, just like you are, are shy. You don't even have to come up to people. Just be open and happy and smile and the people will come to you. The second step of attracting those kind of people is by focusing on yourself and the things that truly speak to your soul. So things that you love. If you love watching the footy, go all in on that. Be unapologetic. Talk about it all the time. You will attract people that also love the footy. If you are into the law of attraction, constantly speak about the law of attraction. Share it on your social media platforms. Put little droplets of law of attraction information in conversations and see if people pick up on it. It's a really funny story. That's how I became really close friends with one of my friends. I always post law of attraction and spirituality sort of things on my Instagram stories and she has been watching my Instagram stories for a while and she's never actually, you know, popped up and started talking to me. But one day she saw one and she just us to hang out with me and after that we literally became best friends and like I don't even know what I would have done without her in the period that we were super 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 like close she moved countries but like in that period where I had her all of the freaking time like I don't know how I would have done that without her because we were very much on the same life path both want to move countries you know the universe brought her to me and you know I opened myself up to that and I attracted it to me I kind of advertised that I am into the law of attraction it's the same thing as like the gym you're not just gonna be going to the gym like you know you're a closeted gym person and you know you're not telling anyone that you go to the gym once you start sharing that you like going to the gym Start having conversations, like it's basic stuff, you know what I mean? There's an opportunity to meet a new friend literally everywhere and anywhere that you go. It could be on your phone or on Instagram, it can be on Bumble BFF. You really don't know where you're going to meet people, so eye contact is everything, open body language, and focusing on yourself and your desires, your hobbies, things that you're passionate about, and your career, of course, because you will attract those people that, you know, their purpose aligns with your purpose, and those friendships? Those friendships are like tip number two, the hack that I've never heard anyone say and I'm really into motivational videos and books and all of that kind of stuff. The way that I kind of figured it out myself, I've never really heard. And that is consume content 24-7. What does this mean? It can be listening to podcasts. It could be listening to audiobooks, reading books, talking to that positive friend. I'm talking about waking up from the morning until you go to sleep at night with positivity blasting into your ears. I wake up, I have a morning routine. If you want me to talk about my morning routine, comment down below. That is such an important way to start off my day. That includes things like affirmations, you know, writing stream of consciousness. When I go to work, Instead of listening to music, I put on a podcast that is motivational, inspirational, and all that. When I'm at work, because I'm at an office job, and you can tweak this to however your life is set up, I put on my headphones and I have an audiobook going. And this isn't like from, you know, nine to six. This is like whenever I can, whenever I'm on my break, whenever it's not that busy at work. But still, I always have that constant information coming in. When I finish work and I'm going to the gym, I'm either watching a motivational vlog or like someone that I aspire to be like and then I'm listening to like motivational pumping up music and then when I'm going home again I'm listening to podcasts and then while I'm eating I'm watching something inspirational or something educational and what I mean by inspirational and like positive it doesn't necessarily mean like Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, you can do it. This can mean something educational based as long as it's something that's useful to you. Then when I go to sleep after my night routine I have affirmations playing all night being like I am successful I know what I want I know my worth all of that is playing while I'm sleeping and so it's constantly 24 7 of positivity and knowledge and inspiration coming in to my ears now I'm not saying that you do this from like now to the rest of your life. I would go freaking crazy if I did that. If I'm really having a bad day or like a rough week or a rough month, there are going to be moments where you have negative people that are talking in your ear, that are complaining. I used to be super toxic about that. You genuinely have to have compassion for people. Everyone is going on their own journey. So when you do kind of have that practice of like, no, I'm my own person, this doesn't have to affect me, then that's going to help you in the long run. So I've known this for a long time, but coronavirus has definitely concreted this fact. You have a choice of surrounding yourself with 
freaking Oprah Winfrey and you know Mel Robbins and they are literally mentoring you just in a virtual sense and I used to think that was lame and I used to think oh no I need like a real life mentor but who says those people aren't real they're just coming to you virtually but what they're saying is just as real as if they said it to you face to face I mean it's not as personalized but think about it during COVID everything now is virtual and you're talking to people virtually you know you can't control all of the time who is around your environment but what you can control is what comes into your ears and now with the invention of airpods everything can be positive 24 7 if that's what you choose to do i suggest trying this for 30 days i mean this does sound pretty abstract like blasting positive stuff in your ear but make yourself a challenge and see the difference that it makes i guarantee you will literally be so much more inspired so much more positive and so much more successful into whatever it is that you want to achieve i'm going to leave it at that i really hope that you enjoyed this video and it provided you with some sort of value i'm gonna go eat because because she's hungry and I will see you in the next video.